Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing that Russian SFSR. Last time, we invaded Brazil, and we lost a few ships that were attempting to make their way down into Brazil. Regardless, hope you guys are having a good day. Let's continue on and have a good time with each other and make sure that we don't lose any ships. Uh, there was a comment. Ooh, Ground Pounder. Ooh, I like that. There was a comment yesterday. Stating, um, instead of normally invading the United States through either like the Newfoundland area or Labrador or even through Central America up to Mexico to the, Mex the United States southern border, invade from Siberia into Alaska. Now, I have never done that. I've never ever done that before. And that sounds like a crazy, terrible idea. But you know what? Let's try it. Or at least I'll attempt it. I will definitely attempt invading Alaska. Oh, wait. Oh, I have some guys up there. Uh, I'm actually really close to Alaska. I will tr attempt to invade Alaska from Siberia-ish region, maybe J japan ish areas, and then make my way through Canada, through a terrible portion of Canada. This part of Canada, the Yukon and whatnot, has half the infrastructure of Alaska. Canadians, you gotta get working on your infrastructure, man. Regardless, uh, and, but in order for me to do that, I think I've got to take out the Japanese first. So, here is a battle plan. I'm going to continue invading South America, which I should honestly be paying a little bit more attention to right now. So we'll invade, finish invading South America, get a bunch of a bunch of armies down here, maybe invade a couple Central American places, as well as Mexico. I will have a border with the U.S., but finish up South America, Central America, and then move my navy over to defeat Japan. Annex probably Japan into a puppet state. Uh, let the Allies have nothing because they're jerks. Finish off Australia and then New Zealand and then invade the rest of America through Alaska and Canada. And thereby invading probably the West Coast after I invade Alaska. So that's actually something interesting I was not thinking about that I've never done before. So thank you very much for that comment. You're going to hear me rage quite a bit from doing that. So let's go ahead and get rid of two more soldiers, two more divisions, just because I'm going to save a little bit of manpower. Save 15% or more on Geico insurance when you switch to Geico. I don't use Geico, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead. It looks like you guys are actually poised to do very well since I did take a look. And the Brazilians are currently using 40 width divisions. So I kind of don't mind doing this if that means that you guys can be successful since their organization is absolutely terrible. Down here, we need to micromanage quite a bit, which is fine with me. I'm fine with micromanaging things. So let's continue on. Um, yeah. We're continually trying to find places to bomb, find places to hit. Uh, I want to make sure that you guys don't actually get hurt too much, so... Even though you guys have taken quite a few hits. And I lost another sub. Uh, it's really not worth it to do this here. So go ahead. Do that. Go ahead and repair. I want everyone to repair immediately. And then, uh... Yeah, we'll just keep invading Brazil first. And then move our ships around. Once we feel like we have South America mostly secured. I told you guys to be balanced, not be too aggressive. Alexander Gorbatov, kind of injured, wounded, whatever. You know, things happen. Uh, coasts. Coast guards will be actually very important for this. I need you to do this as well. Good. And it looks like we opened up another port here, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, if I can unite with the rest of the force, I can make one massive line, which would be great as well. Oh, there's that airbase we started building. Just good, 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 good. Go ahead and send two divisions that way. Cool. Torpedo to mineling deployment. Great. Snorkels are worthless. Not even going to research those. Good. Not bad. Not bad at all. Naval doctrine, of course, is done. Finished with. Dusted. Artillery. It is 1950. I've done nothing for anti-tank or armored cars. Hmm. Tasty. So off my coffee here. Started drinking this before I even started recording, but whatever. Um, more armor. Eh, I think we'll be okay. 1951, that's next year. Let's go ahead and get T-57s. Improved high-velocity piercing shells and highly slanted armor ensures these tanks can give as well as take more than their predecessors. Nice. How does that compare to the... Actually, let's go ahead and research that. But how does that compare with the T-56? So the T-56 is on the right. You get two more defense. You get five more heart attack. Ooh, semi-modern anti-air. You get ten more armor, which is nice. Uh, it actually costs one more production. All right. Uh, breakthrough is actually better by 15. That's actually not too bad. Seven more soft attack. S slightly faster, actually. That's a kind of interesting. Ten more piercing, and then use the same amount of fuel. 
all for using the same amount of fuel for just overall a little better sets. Pretty good. Hmm, I love drinking a lot of things at one time. Ooh, but I am a little tired. I've been driving all over the place, trying going for job interviews, and it's been crazy. Absolutely crazy. Well, not too crazy, just a lot of driving. Within the past two days of this recording, I've probably driven about at least 400 miles, so. Got up early to do that. Oh, some Mexican convoys have been sunk. Good job, Republican Spaniards. Good job. Ooh, what is going on down here? Shot down a couple more planes. That's pretty normal. Pretty normal. Shot down one plane there. Oh, we've linked up. That's really, really good. Yeah, don't try to sink my stuff. Don't you dare try to sink my stuff. Alright, so that's actually really kind of awesome that I was able to do this. I actually have an airbase so I can actually throw on some of our hundreds of thousands of heavy fighters. Actually can test something here. So that we can actually maybe push out. Maybe support our planes in... Or support our ships in the water down here. So that's actually really good. Now, I don't want to do this, but I'm going to attempt it. Can we have a solid front line made up of both armies? We might be able to. That actually would be really good. Uh, since you're four here, not doing much. Go ahead and try to get, get that across the river. That'd be great. Shut down a plane. Nice. Good, good, good. Uh, you guys look like you might be able to push out of here. If you can, great. For this... Oh, it looks like we have an American tank. Let's go ahead and move up this way to help out. You might not be able to win. Yeah. Oh, well. Nope. Nope. We weren't able to win. We have more immigrants arriving to the Russian SFSR because we're just the best country. Obviously. Send me one of you guys to help attack this way as well. And we can't win there. Unfortunate, but things happen. Cool. 7 out of 10 infrastructure. Not bad. Could be better. Could, of course, be better. But the amount of supply. What are we... What do we really need for supplies? Is it the infrastructure or is it the seaports? Let's see. Delivery 10 by using 24 convoys. Hmm. Infrastructure damage actually is playing a big part of this. <clears throat> uh, most of everything has been delivered. Oh, I mean, that's, that's resources. I need supply. For this, control of incoming edge provinces, local plus 2012. Naval route efficiency, 99%. Local infrastructure needs better help. So, hmm. Local? Local supply base. We had the victory points. Victory points give you more supply, which is good. More incoming. Alright, I think just infrastructure generally is what we really need here. Go ahead. I know the supply really does suck, so. Uh, can we improve the infrastructure around here? I'm building up another anti-air base here. Kirin Ching, Qingdao. Wait, what? You've been... Are you getting strategically bombed, perhaps? Oh, someone is bombing me over here. Huh. Okay. Uh, where are those regions? St. Helena. That I can improve... What is this area? Bahia? Bahia and... Minas Gerais. There it is. Bahia? Don't really need that... Um, someone is really bombing me. Holy crap. Oh, no, it's not bombing. No, it's the, um, resistance. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like is J Japan doing strategic bombers? No, there's the resistance that I'm failing to make better, but whatever. I don't really care. I already have enough factories at the moment, so. And we have, like, five naval ports here, so that's actually really good. Good, 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 good. You two sh might not be able to push through here. Let's see. We need some more Iranian divisions. Maybe push through here. <clears throat> Nothing, no upgrade yet. So be it. Awesome. Push them back out across the river. Good, good, good. Definitely want to push these six divisions out, though. Take you and come here, too. Up attack. Yeah, we can't bust through here. So, we'll probably... Iranian Communist Authority pursues nuclear technology. Great. Oh. So, got a couple armies down here. Yeah. Where is this? Oh. A couple more planes. Trying to bomb us. So be it. Um. <clears throat> we're not really ready to poise to attack yet, though. So Bahia, obviously, will be the area that we have to attack from. Seeing as this is where we get the most supply from. Uh, another Romanian division. Cool. Throw them on the coasts. I don't want to send my guys to attack before they're really 
ready. Since their supply isn't great... I mean, yeah, conquering more Bahia would be nice, but it's not like it's absolutely necessary at the current moment. But you know what? We might try and be successful. Especially with the allies adding in constantly more and more divisions to throw at us. Uh, can we be successful here? <clears throat> I guess not. <clears throat> mm, sorry about that. Czechoslovakia uranium for Soviet nuclear program. Comrade Trotsky, then KVD reports that it can be obtained, or it can obtain, <clears throat> excuse me guys, high quality uranium ore from Czechoslovakia in exchange for crude oil deliveries and other resources for the industry. Uh, just procure some samples, we have other priorities. Screw that, I will lose a couple resources, but those are resources I can always make up and I have enough of. Uh, yeah. It's question mark, question mark, question mark. Heck yeah. I love it. I don't know what's going on with my voice right now, though. Ooh. Um, yeah, these, got, these things are okay. <clears throat> Population growth. Could always use more military factories at home, though. Do that, do that. Cool. I mean, resources, yeah, we're doing pretty darn well in resources, so. Not too worried about that. So, from Bahia. Oh, we cannot get that tile. But it'll help eventually once we have. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we're now we're sending in a lot of planes. That's actually really good. That's actually. This will be the deciding factor whether we can push further in to uh, Brazil and South America overall. So, that's actually going to be extremely beneficial to the point where I don't even realize how beneficial that'll really be. So. Fighters, let's get some carrier fighters. That'll be really useful. Ooh, Japan. Ah, Japanese destroyer, Japanese heavy cruiser. Good, good, good. Glorious stuff awaits. Greatness awaits. Cool. Um, I don't know where they. Where's the victory tile here? The victory province. Uh, victory tile. Victory point tile. That's the capital of this place. Mostly because it's factions, infrastructure, resource, resistance, terrain. Um, just because I want to be able to build stuff immediately as soon as I try to maybe invade. What we could try is another naval invasion from another army. Let's try that out. So for you guys, I don't really care who you are. Let's just end all of this. You guys are already in Africa. It's kind of starving for supplies, but you know, whatever. No one's talking about that because we don't need to know about that. Uh, move your way over here. And then, instead of actually doing that, I'm going to try another naval invasion. Since we are beginning to have enough command of the sky to the point where I think we could probably do another naval invasion. So, we're going to land all along the upper coast here. Take as many ports as possible, since it doesn't take too long for us to actually invade areas, which is great. So, try to go for as many different ports as possible. Oh. Um, oh, hold on here. Need to unclick that. I undid that other group. Do it from here, and then invade up here. And then from here, you will help invade from... Yeah, this place seems pretty good to me. To here. And we'll do one more. And you'll come from here to over here. See if we can invade those areas, since we do have mm, a couple guys around here. So Maybe we could come up that way, perhaps. Three divisions should be able to yeah, push those guys out. That'll be great. Uh, we can't push through here, which really sucks. Our Coast Guards really want to push through there, whatever. Can't always push where you want. A uh, couple divisions here, though. Honestly, with all of you guys here, you should have maybe find some sort of success here. Yeah, maybe? No? Okay, then. I see. I see how it is. I see. Not really, but okay. Uh, let's start off with you guys this time to start the attack. Yeah, the organization of my guys doesn't seem to be great. Yeah, look how fast they're drained. Oh, but maybe we can actually win. Maybe I'll take another sip of coffee. Who knows? Hmm. Maybe I'll just run out of sips of coffee. Like I just did. 
Cool. Another early destroyer sunk. So be it. As we tentacle our way into Brazil. Oh, we're doing actually really well in Bahia. Ah, more fuel refining. Great, great, great. Advanced equipment conversion. Eh, why not? Ooh, tanks. This is the Marine Division. Honestly, I think I have enough Marine Divisions at the moment. Yeah, they're both Marines. Take both of those, boys. Throw them out of here. I think 10 Divisions is probably good enough. I am starving for a little bit more supplies, so I think 10 Divisions is good enough. Uh, yeah, do that. Supply-wise, we're doing pretty well, except for fighters, which I don't even use. Jet Tactical Bombers, eh. I could use, I guess, suppose Jet Tactical Bombers, but I'm kind of lazy about it. Fighter Bombers, don't want it, this clogging my area up. Yes, I could be giving a lot of these resources to my allies, but I don't want to waste my time with that. Light tanks. By this time, if you're using light tanks in 1950, you're probably not going to win. You know. Heavy tanks, don't eat them. It's all about them modern tanks. Hmm. <laughs> Always drink water, kids. And other guys around here. <clears throat> Alright. How close are you guys to invading Still moving over, which is fine. Doesn't have to be immediate. I just want to make sure that we have enough supply here in Bahia, which we do. We actually should have a pretty good amount of supply, which is awesome. Take half of you guys, attack this direction, put them out of their misery, and take you three and help attack this way as well. We should be able to win here. It's only three divisions. The Brazilians are quick to capitulate in the battle. Oh, we sunk an American destroyer. Great. And, oh. Okay, so I, like last time, or maybe it was the time before, I started to ensure that we had enough resources up here in the Labrador Sea. Obviously, the enemies have thought kind of the same thing. And I'm going to make sure that if we have allies who want to invade Labrador or Newfoundland, are successful as a transport soldiers across the area and are navally invading Labrador. Or at least that's what it looks like with the Italian boys here. If they land here in Denmark, so be it. That's great. We might need more supply, though. Uh, actually, we should have enough. That should be good enough. Yeah. Definitely see what happens. It's kind of a sad day when the capital of the UK is in Labrador. But, you know, they were just too greedy to give that province to their ally called Canada. We'll do that. Take half of you guys. Come over here. Uh, anyone? Everyone's moving. Could you attack that way, please? And then send one of the I, my regular divisions that way as well. You guys are moving up. Six divisions. Um, what happens if we did this? Would we win? Would we perhaps win? I think we'd win. You come here. Give me one of your boys as well. Cool. And then actually, these three divisions might as well help attack since there's really no point for us to not to. Oh, we definitely help out the supply. Minas Gorias. It's really good that we finally have more than enough supply through here. Go ahead, split you guys up and do that area too. That'll be great. Slow, slowly, 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 we're, we're working ourselves into Brazil. And once Brazil's gone, I mean, it's just going to flood into Venezuela, Colombia, the old Peruvian lands, Bolivia, Paraguay, Uruguay. I mean, it'll be not too bad. Not too bad at all. Good. What are the casualties like? Well, for me, 7.47, not great. But Brazil isn't even in the top five, so that's pretty good. Brazil's near the bottom, I believe, and they have suffered 210,000. I can't believe they've already suffered 210,000 casualties. Oh, well. 246,000 now. Very nice. Awesome. And apparently they have American tanks here. Maybe I should... Oh, they have some mechanized divisions in there too. It looks like a, maybe 20 width division. So that's better than 40 width, fighting 40 width. So we'll see what happens. Drop tanks. Agility goes down, but more... Uh, no, agility and max speed goes down. I don't think this is really worth it for drop tanks. Uh, actually, maybe it is in the end, because you do get more agility and range in the end. Yeah, actually, that might be worth it. More agility and max speed in the end. Two plus 2%, 2%, 2% plus 2%. These actually give you 1%. So, actually, just... Initially, it hurts your agility and speed, but overall, it actually is quite a bit better for you. 1951. Uh, let's do this, since we're probably fighting in jungles right now. I think that'd probably be kind of beneficial. Kind of. Send half of you guys, send all of you boys, and send the Mountaineers to help attack this way. The tank shouldn't offer too much resistance. Send half of the Persian boys too. Nope, can't really do anything about it. So be it. Can't win every battle. Lost two planes. Alright. 
Is there any way we can exploit to win here? I want to get these guys out of here as fast as possible so I can attack. Whatever this is. Bello Horizonte. Bello. Four divisions. I don't want to attack with too many. All right. The infrastructure kind of sucks. These guys are taking quite a while. Ace pilot promoted. Very good. Oh, Leo the first. Hello. Take half of you guys. See if you can maybe win. Yeah, you might be able to win there. Awesome. Fire control stuff. Plus the computer. I need to do experimental rockets, but it's almost 1951. Let's do encryption and decryption and that type of stuff first. Oh, we lost a plane. Eh, that's not. Could be worse. And it looks like our Italian puppet is trying to invade Labrador. They even have shore bombardment enacted. All right. Well, good luck, guys. If you can get it and hold it, that would be amazing. I would love you. But not love you too much. I must spread my love equally across all my allies and puppets. Supposedly. Cool. Five divisions down there. Obviously can't attack there. Oh, look at this ugly fighter. Well, just time to get to the next best ones because we are researching carriers. And let's take a quick look. Do I have any extra ships? I do have some extra ships. Go ahead and combine these two. Mm, for only having one capital ship, I think this might be too many screens. Take out... Do leave four of those. Get four and four. Oops. I mean, that's still enough for that, so... Go ahead and throw you on to... No. This guy's group. Uh, let's see. Oh, you're already part of the group. Oh, you're actually already part of the group? That might be a little bit too much. Yeah, that might be too much. You guys are a bunch of subs. Throw you down here. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and combine that group there. One guy is doing <laughs> all the naval XP, which isn't very much at all, but whatever. Uh, you know what? That's okay. Split them up. That's fine. That's actually probably better for everyone. Do that. Go ahead and heal up. And let's see what we got. Nothing. There's an American light cruiser there, so be it. Sunk a destroyer and sunk two more enemy destroyers. Very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. And how is the naval invasion planning going? Are we ready to go? Cool. Go ahead when you can. And we will need a little bit more area coverage right there. But other than that... Oh my goodness. Czechoslovakia declared war on the Czechoslovakian state. Okay, so which one's which? Oh, so Czechoslovakia is a tall... See, guys, guys, this is why I want you to be communist and only communist. If you support other ideologies, they're just going to be angry at you. You can't have this. Uh, division training time. Do you have a national spirit? You have, you know, you have daily communism support and daily fascism support. What the heck? Well, Czechoslovakia, mm, you're going to need to be a little more communist for me. And let's go ahead and use some of these boys that were over here. I think we don't really need to help our guys out, but just in case. Wait. So, I'm at a war with them, but they're at war with Czechoslovakia. My Czechoslovakia. Spain and Portugal. Okay. Good. Good, good. More ships dying. Awesome. Um, uh, oh. Yeah, such on one, just in case. Yeah, I definitely want to help out with that civil war, or whatever you want to call it. Is there anywhere we can exploit? Maybe here. But I don't want to attack over a river, so take you guys to attack first, and then send you boys in. Send in the Mountaineer, which does, seems to be running out of supplies. Send mm, an extra division that way, too. Yeah, good. Oh, and we sunk a United States destroyer. Yeah, if anyone, everyone would like to help out, yeah, that'd be great. Okay, everyone, even the Koreans want to help out in Czechoslovakia. Sounds great to me. As you can hear, there's a lot of button pressing. Ooh. Bjarno. Well, seems like we got to get rid of a lot of people here. And Czechoslovakia is gone. Cool. And we can lower the autonomy of Denmark. Huh. I thought it would be the... Where is it? Baltic Socialist Republic first. But okay. Denmark, you're an integrated puppet. Love it. And to continue with... The <clears throat> integration of the Baltic Social Republic. Can we build anything for them? Doesn't look like it. But let's go ahead and build up some airfields, some air bases. Yeah. Nothing says 
integration, like building a bunch of airfields. Yep, so can increase things. Ba, he has almost fully under our complete control, which is awesome. Ooh. Looks like we don't have air superiority over here. Add that. Take 400. Make sure we actually support the Cape Verde, the people that are trying to invade. Uh, you guys are not invading. Oh, okay, now everyone's ready to go. Okay, everyone's ready to go at once. Cool. Naval stuff is done. We gotta make sure we got enough dive bombers, but CV dive bombers. I don't use those. Uh, torpedo bombers are the... Oh, I already have these. Yeah, I probably accidentally researched those before. So... Um... Oh, nuclear bomb, yeah. That sounds like fun, right? And since we have a little bit of time, we can get a 1944 carrier hole A, but I don't think I'll have enough uh, naval XP to do everything. One more hangar space. Deck armor. Uh, I kind of don't mind at least the minimal amount of deck armor. Remove that. Go ahead and save that for now. Obviously, I'm not done with it, but... I'll come back to it once we have enough naval XP. Cool. Naval invasion of Brazil, round two, is has begun. Which is awesome. Plane support. Brazil's looking pretty darn nice. We have some air superiority across all these different areas. And apparently I've run out of something. What have I run out of? Have I run out of something? Why are my allies giving me stuff? Do they not want to be my puppet anymore? No, they want to be my puppet. They love me. Whether they like it or not. They love me. They really love me. Uh, can I send maybe a couple of you guys? Tell these guys to uh, move out of their prov province. That tile. Uh, let's see. In Am I out of infantry equipment? Oh! Uh, no, I don't... Oh, yeah. I'm near the... The part... Of uh, the end game counter, where if you have over like 2.2 million infantry equipment, then the game's like, oh, now I have negative 2.2 million. And I don't want to run out of infantry equipment when I'm running deficits or having at least some attrition within like South America. So this is why I'm taking the time to right now get rid of a lot. Yeah, I know, I know I can get rid of and give this to my allies. I always forget to give stuff to my allies because I got rid of all the guns I was making. God dang it. This is what happens when I start explaining things, I, I make mistakes. Oh well. It's not like we're not producing two, 2,800 guns a day. So. Nice. Natal is ours. That was actually one of the easiest naval invasions I've done this episode. Go ahead and just push them out. Go ahead and try to link up with these guys. Because actually, I'm probably going to separate you from everyone else. You're the Middle East. I'm going to start calling you South America. <clears throat> That'll be good. Add you down to here. That'll be great. Actually, you know what? Don't move. We got a couple divisions here that can move for us. Awesome. The next naval invasion of Brazil has begun. Go ahead and make it one big ol' line up here. Since we can't really advance too much with through Bahia and Minas Gerais because they've already set up a lot of stuff to stop us, but yeah, whatever. Nice. Good job, guys. Send one division that way. Cool. For you guys, go ahead and stop. Do this. And immediately engage. For you guys, it looks like you actually might be successful. I know we're probably not going to be successful everywhere. But it's worth an attempt to try to push everyone out of here. Uh, actually. Oh, that was 24 divisions. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead and just push. Nice. And now the Brazilians... Oh, no, the Americans don't like us moving more soldiers around. Well, that's too bad, America. That's too bad. <clears throat> awesome job, guys. You're doing a fantastic job. Just... If, oh, we've linked up. Yep, it's it's the end times for these. Oh, we've even made an encirclement. I was going to say it's the end times for these guys, but... uh, Yeah, it's not a bunch of divisions here, but... It's enough divisions for me to say that we can actually do an encirclement without really trying at times. Oh, overrun. This is so good. So good. Delicious. This is just tasty. Mmm. Ah. Oh, so awesome. 
doing a great job. You're doing Trotsky's, the proletariat's work. Yeah, can't say God's work because I don't think we really believe in God with Trotsky around. But yeah, regardless, regardless. Ah, oh, this is so beautiful, so good. Look at all these divisions. Not a bunch. It's like nine divisions. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that was just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And now we have three armies, at least three regular armies with, okay, that just died. Three armies on the South American continent. That was absolutely beautiful how that other division melted. Go ahead, stop doing this. The front line's gonna look a little wonky for a little bit, but with three full armies, it's pretty much ogre at this point. With that in mind, I might actually go ahead and send some of my tanks. <clears throat> oh, they're ready for... Ah, dang it. I, hmm, I want to send my tanks down there, but I guess that's why we have other tank divisions, too. Where are you guys at? You're down here? Great. Come down to Brazil as well, because I will use these guys to help push through Argentina as well, and maybe naval invade from other locations. Okay, let's speed it up just a little bit so that our guys... Ooh, can uh, get down to their destination, destination, in Brazil, because this is going very well. Go ahead and do that. That looks good. Lots of naval, naval base building. Right, these are naval bases, yeah. Naval bases. That was actually extremely awesome. Uh, you guys are just kind of hanging out. Go ahead. Repair for now. Repair for now. Obviously, we don't really need it too much, but that was a really good naval invasion. Yeah, so... In the end, once South America is done, Central America is mostly conquered, and we are on the border with the U.S., I will invade Japan with my ships, which my ships will probably get hit pretty hard, but invade <clears throat> Alaska once we are done here. But that's pretty much all the time for we have for today. Oh, I'm losing quite a few planes. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed this, today's episode, guys. Leave a like if you did. We're sinking a crap ton of Communist States of America's convoys. Uh, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we hopefully will capitulate Brazil and move straight into Bolivia, Paraguay, Uruguay, Argentina, and more. Thank you very much for watching.